This video is going to go over the table layout. To get started, you'll need to log into the back end control panel. Only in Access Level 3 can log in. From here, you can go to the Layout tab. We have our different options to save a room. We can delete a room that we've already created. We can create a new room, or we can view the rooms that we've already created. We can also change the room title if needed. To add a new table, you select the shape that you want, and you click and you drag it and drop it to wherever you want it to be positioned. From here, we can make the table bigger, and if we double click it, we can change the name of the table. I'm going to call this one Table 4. Once we've done that, we can then hit Save, or we can select the different Revenue Center. Revenue Centers are for reporting. You'll need to create these first through the settings, and then once you've created them, they'll be in this drop-down. I want Table 4 to report to the bar. So anytime anything is sold on this table, it will report to the bar Revenue Center. To delete a table, highlight the table, and then hover over the trash can and it'll enlarge. Click that and then you can save the room. Once you've made the changes in the back end, you'll need to reload the settings on the front end. Now that we've made our changes in the back end, we'll need to reload the settings on the front end. The first step is to enter our pin. From here we can tap the lobby icon on the top left and then reload settings and hit yes. This only takes a few seconds. Once the settings are reloaded, we can then view the changes that we made in the back end. We can swipe left or right to view the rooms that we've created, and we can also view any tables that have orders on them because they're blue. To toggle to a different layout, you tap the lobby icon again, and we can select tab layout. To get back to the table layout, we'll just simply tap the lobby icon again, and then tap table layout. 